Welcome to Awkward Victory. So I want to show you how I'm doing my water work system. It's um, obviously the winter time. It's pretty cold, but a uh, nice and sunny day. So what I want to show you is how I actually get the water. So first of all, um, there is a well here, obviously. It goes down. I power it through that outlet. I just uh, you know, uh, add an extension cord to it, and that starts the well and it'll pump the water up through here, up here to this elbow, take it across, and then comes here, and then goes straight into my container. Now, the reason why I do this is because I don't want any of the pipes exposed to the outside air for potential freezing. Now, obviously, I have to put a wall up here and, and finish all of this up and then close it. But uh, right now, it's more of a proof, proof of concept idea. I wanna make sure everything works, so. Yes, the water comes in here through this pipe, through this PVC pipe, goes in, and then there's a 55 gallon drum behind that wall. Um, like I said, the, the next part of it is to go ahead and encapsulate this entire container, uh, put a, um, a board there to protect that. And uh, yeah, and then I'll show you what it looks on the inside as the water comes in. So the water underground here is, let's say, 50 degrees, uh, even though um, the outside temperature can go below freezing. So that's the idea. And then, of course, it'll be uh, closed off when everything is done. We're back inside, and so I want to describe to you how this system works. So last time we, um, we were able to get the water inside the container and this is where the water storage unit is. So this 55 gallon drum right here, it comes in through the wall right there and down here. And um, this stores 55 gallons, like I said, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a cheap thing. You can, you can purchase mostly anywhere, um, a plastic 55 gallon drum. People use it for water storage all the time. And um, we're pumping that guy out with uh, this, um, I think it's a shore flow. It says pent air there, but anyway, it's a, it's a straight, um, you know, 120 volt uh, wired up into um, AC instead of a DC water pump. I mean, people use them in RVs. This happens to just be a, 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 a AC pump making it easier for me to just install it. So it's been uh, spliced and you know, an old computer wire there. It's going into the outlet over here. There's a GFI circuit there. Um, this is all the plumbing works here. So the water comes in here, gets pressurized by that pump, and then uh, goes in here. That's the cold line, goes up through here, and through this hose right here, it comes into this unit. And this unit is an EcoTemp. Um, I believe it's an I, let me try to get you a picture of it. I think it's an I-12 LP, so liquid propane. Um, and uh, as you can see, it's vented up there directly outside of the um, container and um, it's on. So uh, we'll, we'll turn the water on for you soon. Uh, it's getting its propane from this line, which is outside. It's down through the tile in there. And, um, and so, yeah, it's uh, provided liquid propane from that. And I'm just using a regular, you know, the, uh, the 20 pound canisters for that propane or, you know, basically I think it fits about four, four to five pounds worth of propane. And then, um, so the water cold line comes in through here, gets heated in this unit, comes back down. And then this is my hotline here, which is supplying the rest of um, the water to, uh, you know, you've seen this guy. This is the tub shower system. And uh, here is uh, the sink right next to it. And the reason why I have all this so close is <laughs> obviously it's a shipping container. We got a tight space. But the other reason is I wanted all of the um, the plumbing in terms of the drainage right here. So all of that all of that is reconnected down here and going through one hole. So there's not a, mu a multiple of holes punched through this container. I just have one for drainage. And of course, um, I don't really need an air vent stack. I mean, it's so it's such a short amount of space and this is a the double double sided uh, utilitub so there's plenty of uh, airflow there and of course uh, the tub shower right there you've seen that 
And uh, yeah, we've been using it. It works pretty well. Um, the only downfall of this particular system, I think, is, and I'm not, I'm not quite sure. It's because of the length of the, of the copper piping that I have here, or or what. Um, it pressurizes fine, but it is quite noisy. So you'll you'll hear it when it when I uh, turn this on. Um, and that's it. It's really the noise, and you know we can learn to live with that. It's not a big deal. Uh, so go, let's go ahead and show you the the. Um, the, the tub here and the, um, the water that comes out of it. So here's the cold. And you hear the sy system going on in the background and makes that pumping noise. And then here's the hot. So here's the hot water. Excuse the tub, it's kind of dirty. We haven't really had time to clean it yet. But yeah, so it all works fine. And I uh, want to show you the heater too. So the heater is right here. And you can see the temperature is going up. Uh, it's 120. That little, that little twirling thing is the fan, the exhaust fan that goes out. That flame is, um, is the uh, is the water getting hot, and right now it's 126 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's that's pretty hot. It's pretty cold outside. Now I'm going to turn it down to just cold again, and then you'll see um, you'll see the unit in action again. So anyway, I'm going to turn it off. It's cold. Um, it takes a little while to kind of cool down and uh, fan out. So I don't know if you can uh, hear the unit, but um, it is, there you go, it's just powered down. So th the extra bit of carbon monoxide or combustion gases that were left over or vented out uh, from, um, from the unit to like directly outside. So yes, that's the, uh, the complete water system, waterwork system. Oh. Now, one other thing. So I do have an extra line over here that comes through and uh, I'll demonstrate that in another video. But the reason why I have another line going through to down here is because it's also powering my um, uh, laundry machine. Yeah, laundry machine off grid. So really, um, that's the last thing I want to show you, but not in this video. I, there's so much to incorporate here. So the main thing is getting the water from outside. It's already freezing. Uh, getting it out of the well directly into this container which is inside um, our shipping container so the 55 gallon drum will stay above freezing all these pipes will stay above freezing because obviously we're living in here and it's being heated all the time by a wood stove and so none of this will freeze it's independent of uh, the waterworks outside i.e the pump and and uh, the well pump i mean and so nothing to freeze, nothing to burst. And so, yeah, that's the system. And um, we've been using it for a few days now. It works pretty well. Um, here's the, here's the, um, you know, the sink. Yeah, you can, you'll be able to hear that thing. So here, I'll just turn it on. Yeah, so anyway, and you just saw it or heard it uh, go off. So yeah, yeah, everything's uh, pretty good in this system. Um, I mean, like I said, the only uh, issue that I've had with this system so far is noise. And uh, of course we do have to fill this uh, 55 gallon drum from the outside. So uh, you'll be able to directly look into it when the water level gets high and then, um, and then you can turn off the well outside. Got to figure out a better system for it. But for now, what I'm doing is I'm just I have a ladder up here. I just bring that down, shine a light through there, and I can see the level, and I just cut the power off to the pump, and that's how I stop it from going further. So yeah, I mean, um, I might have to figure out something a little bit better so I could do it one person instead of using two, but otherwise, the system is working quite well, and um, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Obviously, um, this, uh, particular water tank was fairly inexpensive. Uh, all of this was fairly inexpensive. I mean, that unit, I think, cost me about $250, I believe. And of course, that's like a, that's a, that 55 gallon drum was 10 bucks. I think the pump itself was about $70. And of course, uh, the normal hardware for the, for the tub, that tub was free from my old house. And uh, yeah, and, um, so the bathroom in terms of the total cost has been pretty negligible and uh, if this unit breaks i have a replacement for it and of course everything is swappable i mean it's all pipes and everything is exposed so i could take this utility tub out i could take 
the uh, uh, the 55 gallon drum out if I need to and so yeah everything here has backups and um, the pipes aren't going to freeze because I'm inside and when I'm not if I'm ever away from home obviously I would have to drain this entire system um, before I take off but that's it alrighty shalom <laughs>